Weasel News. Police break up a fight of drunk and angry police at a PBA barbecue. A local cock has been shot, officials say. A gathering of over 100 local Los Santos police and sheriff officers erupted into a massive brawl at a barbecue yesterday. Witnesses say that the boiling rage, racism, and feelings of resentful inadequacy mutated into an overwhelming force once they were all together in one place drinking. One woman witnessed the fight. Cops are angry dicks. It's good to see some cop-on-cop beatings. The officers responsible were let off with a warning. Loser news. Witnesses say a cock has been shot, and the picture is spreading like wildfire. Adam Ravine took a picture of his penis Wednesday night and sent it to Felicity Mason, who quickly sent it to her BFF, who then totally, like, sent it to everyone. Ravine is not responding to requests for an interview, but issued a statement that he had just had a cold shower. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. I'm not the tool here, says home improvement accidental arsonist. I find is downloading everything in your house right now. Lambasted in the press in recent days, the man who is trying to sue you tool after literally getting his wires crossed and burning down his house has come out to defend himself, saying that this is not a case of a bad workman blaming his tools, but rather a case of an excellent workman blaming substandard tools he was sold on false information. Tech news. Internet darling I find, which has figured out an ingenious way to make money off of everyone else's content and privacy, announced a new initiative that will send I find vehicles down all streets in order to download data from your computers, tablets, and phone via your Wi-Fi. The company said that this will allow you to quickly search the internet for your own personal data, making your life much more organized and secure. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. War winners in the aftermath of the Liberty City storm. Illegal immigrants say America is worse than third world countries. Businesses across the country are rallying to capitalize off the storm that ravaged Liberty City. First the gas and electric monopolies, then the automobile industry, and now social networking websites are in on it, shilling massively discounted vouchers for hotels and restaurants damaged in the flooding. Illegal Immigrant News. Illegal Immigrant Miguel Gonzalez is not alone. He's upset with America and heading back home. I called my family and said, I'm coming back home. Mexico is a kikwa compared to this crazy ass place. Officials worry that the trend spells trouble for a nation now unaccustomed to doing any real work. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. Sexamia sufferers retreat weekend pitches hotel into chaos. Americans tell their government to please spy on them. Sex News. A hotel in Puerto del Sol was plunged into Bacchanalian anarchy when a support group for sufferers of sexomnia began to molest other hotel guests and a small riot erupted. Sexomnia, a condition where people act out sexual desires while sleeping, is a disputed disease with many doubting its existence. Either way, for some hotel guests, it was all too much. The recent announcement of an iFind program to download data from people's computers, tablets, and phones via Wi-Fi routers has the overwhelming support of the community, experts say. A recent disclosure that the government was conducting illegal surveillance of Americans' phones and internet activity was met with a collective shrug as people are totally excited about those masturbating monkeys on fame or shame. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Want to follow in the footsteps of your favorite celebrity, alive or dead? Los Santos is number one. The city has just won the beloved title of most polluted city in the world. The Hookah Palace Hotel is offering new packages to vacationers. The Jez Torrent package comes with a keg, full bar, and piles of blow. Just like the famous night that he shat himself in the elevator and went running out into the street naked. The Tommy the Nightmare Smith package gives you exclusive use of the pool, your own DJ, to make you feel like a superstar before drowning in your own vomit. Just like the legendary rock guitarist did. 
pollution news. Residents of Los Santos are smiling through the smog. The city recently won back the coveted title of most polluted city in the world. The party and litter spilled out into the streets of Vespucci and Del Perro. Ha ha! We won! You hear that, Beijing? USA! 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 Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Guests say that the world's first 100% self-sustaining eco-hotel stinks. Crime scene cleaner can't find love. Guests at the world's first 100% self-sustaining eco-hotel in Norway are complaining about the smell and skin rashes caused by the decision to make the walls out of dried human compost. If I wanted to sleep on a pile of used car tires, I'd get a heroin habit. A Los Santos city official is trying to find love. Only problem is, Gary Malpass is a crime scene cleaner, a job he says is turning the ladies off. Let's hear what he's got to say. Women just aren't interested in cuddling with the guy who spent the day cleaning brains off the wall. As a result, Mr. Malpass has decided to do like many proud Americans before him and invent a fake biography for a new life lived only online. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. The drug epidemic of toilet cleaner is sweeping across the city. Another 95-year-old water main breaks in Liberty City. The war on drugs. Smoking the drug known as toilet cleaner was once confined to rednecks. But officials say now that it's crossed into damaging middle-class lives, we should all be worried. One local woman says the drug is dangerous. It was awful. I woke up and my mouth tasted like crap. Doctors say smoking the drug makes users consume feces. In the third such incident this week, a 95-year-old water main broke in Liberty City flooding a two-block radius of houses, prompting residents to ask again, if we're supposed to be the leader of the free world, why does our plumbing date back to before women could vote? Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A local man has been taught a life lesson at a Los Santos University stabbing. A legendary philanthropist honored. The cost of college is skyrocketing, with students often going into debt for $100,000 to $200,000. But Los Santos U sophomore Timothy Edwards says he has learned a valuable life lesson at the school when he was stabbed at a football game. I learned that people take football very seriously, and if you disrespect another man's team, he will stab you in the face. College has taught me a lot. A prominent philanthropist and star of the Black Tie Benefit Gala Circuit was honored last night for the services to philanthropy and altruism in the state at a gala thousand dollar a seat event attended by many of the city's great and good. Life is about awards dinners, patting ourselves in the back and tossing some coins to the less fortunate. All proceeds went to the next awards ceremony in which people will honor the city's most generous awards show hosts immediately after the annual award show for best awards awards show dinner. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A crucial pipeline from Canada has been bombed. Los Santos has won a culinary award for exceptional food poisoning. The War on Terror. Canadian insurgents are claiming responsibility for the bombing yesterday of the Trans-Canadian to Los Santos Hydro Pipeline, which is still under construction but is already bringing much-needed water to the state. The terrorist organization says that Canadian water is for Canadians, eh? And then they drunkenly rambled about hockey, maple syrup, and free health care. City officials are celebrating as the city has won the coveted FPA, or Food Poisoning Award. A reality TV show hosted by celebrity chef Ricky Benettini shot their entire last season traveling from shanty ethnic food huts to dingy food trucks in a town that is yearning for authenticity and ending up stooped over a toy it as a result. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Strippers are coming to local buses. Tired of $18 drinks at snotty poolside parties in Vinewood? Head to the Alamo Sea. Transit News. The Los Santos Transit Authority announced yesterday, in a complete about face, that they would be implementing a new program to increase ridership on city buses. Strippers will be in each bus to entertain riders. An official said the strippers will typically be the kind you see at flesh joints during the day, often addicts with a few bullet hole scars. 
But nonetheless, they will be there to bump and grind on riders to thank them for riding Los Santos Public Transportation. It's well known that rich people appear happy, but are really miserable bores. If you're looking for some real excitement, travel agents are saying city residents should go on a package tour to the Alamo Sea. The buses leave on Friday, and vacationers spend their weekend discovering the real America. One vacationer says it's great. Man, I love to go out to Blaine County. Poor people party their asses off. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices.